You all know and love it at this point. It's been a while since I've used it and since I've talked about it, but I think it's about time to bring this phone back. This is the LG Wing. It's been almost 10 whole months since I made my first YouTube video about this phone. Talked about it a few different times since then, uh, but it definitely hasn't gotten the love that it deserves. Really, I wanted to take a look at this phone because it is still available on eBay and Amazon and different places like that. And to be completely honest, it's not a terrible phone, but is it worth purchasing in 2023? The LG Wing has some super fun aspects as well as some more frustrating things about it. Um, so let's talk about it and see, is this worth it in 2023? It is weird, um, strange. It is uh, you know, not like any other phone out there, but I really feel like it works. Uh, it works on a couple of different levels. That's what I said about my experiences with the Wing almost a whole year ago already. After booting it back up, updating, and playing around with it some more, I absolutely still agree. This form factor is amazing. I, I really love it. Although it is still a little bit on the thicker side, when comparing it to any of the folding phones on the market, at least here in the US, it's definitely not any thicker or heavier than those. And uh, I, I really do appreciate this form factor. While I haven't had any of the folding phones recently, this one is, I still feel like I like this and enjoy this better than those. All right, so let's talk about a couple of the specs for this phone um, and what I am okay with. So this is a kind of a middle of the road um, phone when it comes to processor. It's running the Snapdragon. 765G, which isn't terrible, but it's not definitely not the best at this point in time. Um, it does have eight gigabytes of RAM and comes with 256 gigabytes of storage. So even though it's not the fastest phone on the market, it's definitely by no means slow. If you've had something like a Samsung Galaxy S22 or S23 Ultra, you might notice a little bit of, of slowness compared to something like that. Uh, but if you are coming from an older device, if this is uh, a newer device than what you're using, it will definitely be an upgrade. Um, it did come out in 2019, so that's kind of just the age range that you're looking at for this one. Even though it is on the older side of phones that people continue to use today, um, it does have currently Android 12 on it, um, which has been updated by LG. Even though LG Mobile has stopped making phones, um, they are continuing to put in some time into updating this. Why? I, another reason I think a lot of people actually are considering this phone and considering purchasing one, um, LG is still supporting this phone. Um, I currently am running the October security update. Um, I've seen other people with the December update. I have not gotten that yet on my phone. It definitely has been rumored that Android 13 will be coming for this phone very soon, uh, sometime this year. So that's super exciting. And honestly, I can't wait um, for that to happen. See what kinds of improvements they've made since then and uh, see what kinds of new features this old phone uh, can, can take. So I mentioned that this phone does have 256 gigabytes of storage already. Um, might be a very solid choice when for somebody like me that uses this for content creation. Um, this is one of my main phones, uh, main cameras that I've been using to film videos. Not only does it have 256 gigabytes of storage right out of the gate, it has an expandable SD card slot, up to two terabytes of SD storage in this phone. If you are going on a trip, if you are going to be filming a lot of video, if you're gonna be filming 4K video, throw in an SD card, bring a couple extra with you, you're never gonna run out of storage on this thing. Definitely not something you can say about newer phones uh, out today. The screen is a solid 6.8 inch screen with a 3.9 inch on the secondary screen. Um, plenty of space for getting everything that you need done. 
Um, definitely not a small phone by any means. That screen too is one of the other reasons I really like this form factor in particular. When you're watching a video, honestly, I think this screen size for a mobile device is, is perfectly fine for watching a video. Uh, but when your options to watch the video are to hold it like this, which is pretty much a two-handed, otherwise your one hand is going to get really tired really quick holding it like this. Otherwise, you can watch a video holding it like this. Just insane how much more comfortable this is to hold when you're holding this and watching a video. Uh, definitely my favorite thing to show off. Um, when you're watching a video, um, this is an amazing form factor. And I don't think that a folding phone is going to uh, is going to upset this form factor anytime soon. I did find that the uh, the volume buttons were getting hidden behind here, but then I remembered that you've got volume on the screen down here. While you're watching a video on the top screen, you can do multiple things. You can load up a different app, something like Twitter is again my go-to. I can scroll through a bunch of tweets while I'm watching the video. Or if you're just focused on watching that video, there is a grip lock mode. You hit that and the screen just kind of turns off, goes into that like always on mode. Um, and you don't have to worry about touching it, tapping it, starting anything, clicking anything. Um, this is just turns into your grip for watching a video. This is so comfortable. I, I can't believe that nobody's even figured out a way to, to just attach something um, attach a holder, attach a some sort of some sort of holder on the back of a phone like this that that would make it more comfortable for watching videos. It's such a cool form factor. Absolutely love it. Now, while I haven't used uh, one of the Samsung folding phones recently, I would love to check one out. Um, I still honestly think that I prefer this form factor. Um, I think it's just a really, really cool form factor. For me, at least, it was always a, a burden to kind of open the phone up where this feels so much more like a full phone right here. I don't need to open it if I don't want to. This is when I'm hanging out, watching a video, doing my thing. Flip it open. Um, it is It is super handy, and it's really not that big of a difference. It doesn't feel like a different form factor phone until you need it. Where I always felt like the folding phones really felt big and massive and I always felt like I needed to open the the screen up to get the full use of the phone. The other thing is the form factor is just, um, that's a wow factor and honestly this is the biggest, probably the biggest reason to buy this phone is that it's just super cool. Everybody loves this phone. When they see me whip it out, it is, it's head turning, everybody loves it. Everybody loves to take a look at it. Nobody has any idea what's going on. Um, it's just a super fun phone to use, to carry with you and, and to, to show people, um, to show people what you have. Now, a lot of people talked about um, when these first came out, asking how long the swivel was going to last. Um, here's this phone uh, in 2023. The swivel is great. Never had any issues with it. Um, the other thing that people were worried about was the camera. The front facing camera is a pop out. So you can see that it pops out the top there to be able to record the front facing camera. And a lot of people were worried that that was going to give out. Well, here we are 2023. Never had any issues with it. Um, it's in great condition, works perfectly. Um, that is uh, that is the front facing camera. I love it, no worries about a punch hole. You don't have to worry about it being under the screen. There's no notch on the screen, there's no cutout, there's no punch out, anything like that. Again, another one of those super strange things that for some reason, not that many other phones have, have attempted or tried to do that I think LG honestly nailed in this phone. There are a few unfortunate things, although LG is still um, supporting this, updating it, and working towards at least trying to make it safe. Third-party developers are not giving us the same treatment. One of the main applications 
Asphalt 9, which used to take advantage of both screens, having the main game on the main screen, as well as the map and other features on the secondary screen, um, no longer is supported as of the Android 12 update. It just kind of stopped working. So not sure if that's an Asphalt uh, thing or if that's an LG thing, but it's just not one of those things that works anymore. And unfortunately, we're only going to see more of that. Um, nobody is going to be making <laughs> applications that work on both screens anymore. The only reason that we might be seeing some, uh, some things work better, one, developers are going to be making more apps that are dual screen compatible, two screen, split screen um, compatible, as well as um, compatible with different size resolutions. You're going to see, because of those folding phones coming out, you're going to see a lot of developers creating uh, applications for a much more square uh, form factor, which might or might not fit on this little screen. The good thing is the resolution is probably going to be right, uh, but when those developers are making that, it's going to be for a 7-inch screen and not a 3-inch screen. So we're going to have to see if those end up fitting well enough on this or not. But hopefully developers are more worried about different sizes and resolutions um, to be developing apps for, which should hopefully help this uh, device out. So right now, if you want to purchase this device, you can find it on Amazon Renewed for about $345 the last time I checked. I'll put a link right down in the description so you can go check, see how much it is there. Um, when I looked on eBay, it was just a little bit cheaper, uh, but that's used kind of, you know, going on your own at that point. But definitely a way to get one if you want to save a little bit of money. Now, is this phone worth that price uh, today in 2023? And in my opinion, I don't think it is unless you care about how absolutely cool this phone is. If you want this form factor, if you want to show this off to all of your friends, if you are interested in trying to create the coolest dual screen device possible um, using this as your daily driver if you want to find something that is very inexpensive but still just feels like it's from the future um, this is a good option but if you don't care that much about the cool form factor and the different things that you could possibly do with this then i think there are definitely other options that are at least going to give you a newer processor probably quicker updates um, one of my favorites being the Google uh, Pixel 7. Honestly, especially if you're looking used on the eBay market, you can find that even cheaper than this. Um, and that phone is going to be around a heck of a lot longer um, than this phone is. Uh, so unless you really, really care about this form factor in particular, I think it's probably a skip into in 2023. But it is still a really cool phone, and honestly, I'm planning on keeping it for at least a while longer. What do you think about the LG Wing in 2023? Would you get one? Do you have one? Do you still use it? Let me know down in the comments, and make sure you subscribe if you like videos like this. I'm only going to be making more of them. Thanks for watching.